Alright folks, this is Sue Bell from Network Empire and we are back to have a little bit of fun. Because now that you've seen what it can take to how quickly you can actually build out a website with a manual silo builder, we're going to get into how extraordinarily fast you can build something out with a silo importer. Now, the caveat here is that it does require that you've spent a little bit of time in one of the other applications to actually create the blueprint. However, if one were to ignore that for a nanosecond, knowing that I have several blueprints on my hard drive, what we are going to do is just grab one of those blueprints and import it and lickety split, we're going to have a website. So, add the silo short code to the content body. This means back here under settings there's the option to actually add a short code into the body of the content and so if I want to include that short code when I'm importing pages so that I can change that short code later I can flip that to on alright and oh that's not actually the um, what this is doing is it's putting in the short code for, for the links, for the contextual links. I was thinking it was going to put in the short code for the ad. So I'm going to leave that off. Clearly I must have had to put the ad in the, uh, in the content before. So now I'm going to browse. I'm going to find the file that I want to import. I'm here under downloads. I'm going to look for any XML that might be here. I'm going to find some blueprint somewhere. Let's just try this one. It's uh, it's clearly a diet blueprint that I've done before. We're going to open this bad boy. I want to add the YouTube videos, absolutely. There's advanced silo settings here, which um, you can use to specify how you want URL structures. Um, how you want the t So you can change the title from the slug. You can make it so that you've got the headlines here and that you've got the slugs over here so that you've actually got shorter URL strings if that's what you want it to be. Um, typically speaking, you under most sets of circumstances you would have page title or headline for both, um, but it's kind of nice that you have that option if you want to change it to just the keyword and make it shorter. So anyway, you can set those to whatever you want them to be or you can ignore them entirely and just leave them the defaults and then we can import the silo XML format. Now, a moment ago, before we started this, we had already a website. We had home buying, first time home buyer, and home mortgage. And I just imported a diet thing. Now, it can take a few minutes for that to import because there can be a lot of pages and it takes time to go out and find all the videos for all of the pages but let's just hit a refresh here and see what we've got so far so you can see I've got diet information and if I click on diet information I have here a whole silo already built out now this is getting a little bit annoying with the double videos so at this point I'm gonna come back here I'm going to go into my settings and I'm gonna take out that other video. This will not change the um, the existing pages that have already been created, but further pages will not be created with the double video in it. And the other thing that we could do, somewhere around here, I have the content for an ad that we could put in there. Just a second, let me find that. Um, we could put this ad in there. It's just an image, it's not an actual clickable ad, but hey. Alright, so let's do all of that. Let's update the settings. Let's come back here and let's just see what happened. And now you can see I've got a new Tropics ad, not clickable, that sits right underneath the video. Now if I want to make that clickable, obviously I just come in here and I change this to um, a href equals www.networkempire.com and then slash a and then hit the save button one more time and then if I refresh this page
that Nootropics ad should be clickable and go to my affiliate site. Yeah, well, okay, it would if I had put the URL in there correctly, but you get the idea. <laughs> anyway, um, this needs two of those probably even. There we go. That should make it work oh so much better. This is why they don't leave the coding up to me. All right, excellent. So that's how you can change that. That's how you can import that. Now we can come back here and we can do even more evilness. Back here at the silo importer land, I can come here and I can browse for another XML. So that was a diet XML. Let me just search for what other XMLs I might have in here. Natural SEO. We can grab that. We can add this, and that will add some SEO stuff, one would think. Just come over here. We'll hit the refresh button, and what do we have? Look at that. Oh, another diet thing popped up in the meantime. Two more diet things popped up in the meantime, and probably the other Nashville SEO hasn't had a time to. Oh, Internet Marketing Nashville SEO. Look at them all pop up web development, social media, so you can see how this can just get out of hand really quickly. You can import stuff from Kraken, you can import a blueprint from Kraken, you can import a blueprint from DWS, you can import one from each into the same website. Um, I have another one out there called blog.xml which I know is an export from Kraken and I could put that in here too and you could just end up with a ginormous website in a very short time. So now you get the power of importing. Alright, so uh, so I think that's enough for this video. Before I get too excited, we'll close this one down and then we'll come back and we'll talk about everything else. Thanks folks.